Well, I'm a Fritzikan. I'm here to take your ASL for the day. Uh, it's a bright sunny day. And yes, uh, how are you feeling today? A little bit nervous as what will be going to happen, what is going to happen with me today. And uh, I'm excited for this thing. Okay, great. And what about you? Yes, ma'am, I'm feeling good. Okay, it's a nice day. Fine. So, Aditya, you're going to be 1A for the day and Dinesha, sure, you're going to be 1B for the day. Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, well, uh, the ASL will be uh, in three rounds. We'll begin with the introduction round. Where both of you are going to introduce yourself to us. Okay. So, we'll begin with Aditya. You are 1A for the day. Okay. So, tell us something about yourself. Uh, my name is Aditya Sharma. I'm 17 years old. I'm in plus one. I've opted for commerce and I, earlier I was from St. Peter's Academy, Patella, but I have changed my school to Buttathil Public School, Patella. I am finding the environment very attractive here for studies as well as the teachers are also very good. I love to sing, I love to paint, I write poems and all that is, I love to discover new things in me and I love if I am guided by someone to a right path. Okay, so who is the one who is guiding you? Um, my parents and my teachers who are next to the parents only. Okay. You can speak up for the day. Okay. Your name is Dinesha. Yes, ma'am. Dinesha, you are 1B for the day. Yes, ma'am. So tell us something about yourself, Dinesha. Ma'am, uh, I am Dinesha Mehta and uh, I study in Bodhagar Public School since nursery. And uh, it is a very renowned school in Patiala. And uh, I'm 17 years old. My hobbies are watching television, listening to music and reading psychological books and uh, my stream is humanities and my subjects are political science, psychology and economics. Further, I want to pursue my career in psychology as I like to advise people and uh, their satisfaction really thrills me and my favorite hobby is uh, listening to the music. Okay, so who is your favorite singer? Ma'am, it is Shriya Ghoshal. Okay. So you really love the singing, I'm yes, sure. She's my favorite singer too. Yes. Well done, children. You really uh, introduced yourself very well. We begin with this round in a very good manner. Now, with this, we end up with the first round, and we proceed with the entire uh, procession. Uh, with the entire process, we move on to the second round, where you're going to speak on a given topic. So we'll begin with Aditya. You're the first speaker for the day, Aditya. So, what are you going to speak on? I am going to speak on media and networking. Okay. So, when uh, once you end up, Dinesha, you are going to ask him a question related to his topic. Okay, ma'am. Okay, and we'll continue in the same manner with Dinesha too. Sure. Fine. So, let's have it from you, Aditya. Okay. Uh, since the inception of civilization, there have been many creations and innovations which have marked the futuristic roadmap of the world. Media and networking plays a very important role in one's life has given birth to awareness, new thinking and many ideas which are being developed in human beings is just only because of media. We are able to interact, we are able to know everything of the world in just one click. Everything we are aware only because of the network's media. Networking has developed many new careers for the youth prison and it I will be very, I was even, I was shocked to know that it is the second largest employment generator in the world. TV shows like Ham Log, Aapki Adalat, frankly speaking with Arnab Goswami has developed a new pattern in today's youth and which has helped us a lot. But on the other side, what I feel is that every coin has two sides. The bad effects of media are also there which has deteriorated our thinking. First of all, many surveys conducted by the media are wrong and many of the political leaders owe media for their well-being. for broadcasting about their parties and their works which affect not only other parties but also the mindset of the people and youth which is living in the society but according to me if media is being used in a right way we can it's beneficial as well but it's better to use it in a beneficial way otherwise we'll land up nowhere thank, thank you. you so you suggest media to be used in a very judicious manner yes ma'am okay. Uh, you spoke very well, Aditya. Thank Over to you. the second speaker, Dinesha. Dinesha, you want to ask him a question related yes, to this topic? Yes, ma'am. Uh, the it. question yeah. is that you've talked about media and networking. So I want to know what career options do we have in this stream for them? First of all, one can be a report writer, a photographer for the media, as well as a person who is interested in sports or any other particular thing like politics. 
and business activities he can also guide the whole world through media many channels like we have uh, cnbc or bars many introductions business champions are coming in front of us and telling all of the things so when can do all what he wants to do through media okay wonderful from you aditya over to the second speaker for the day uh, danusha danusha what are you going to speak on today ma'am my topic is ethics and values okay so let's have it from you danusha yes ma'am ma'am as i believe that ethics and values are very important for survival and a proper growth of a human being so i would like to share a, a case with you recently happened few days back while walking down the street with my father i noticed a boy who was rushing towards us and handed over a 1000 rupee note to my father my father asked what is it the boy said sir it is yours then my father realized it might have been fallen from his pocket while taking out the mobile phone my father was so happy to see the honesty of that boy he gave him 50 bucks and asked him to stay blessed then i realized that ethics and values are something which a person learns in his childhood from his parents or immediate surroundings and it's it lasts forever values are something which are very important for the personal and spiritual development of an individual and ethics are important as it it tests the moral fibers of an individual when when difficult situations arouses and uh, moral values are basically the standards of good and evil which governs an individual's behavior and choice one can easily climb the stairs of ethical values by doing small things that is by you know uh, getting indulged in uh, parental discussions and communications and by having the courage to do the right thing and uh, by eliminating the most important thing is eliminating selfishness from our lives and by cultivating the habit of virtues one can not only strengthen one own self but also the family and the loved ones so i think we should just learn something from this little boy and without wasting more time on arguing that what a good man should be ma'am let's just be one thank, thank you. you that's really great and i really wish we all in my role that you told us just now thank you over to the other do you want to ask her something yes ma'am in today's era i don't find any but not even a single person who is following ethics and values so what suggestion would you like to give to us that ethics should be there and how we can integrate them it's just that aditya ethics and values are lacking behind due to the upcoming technology and modernization because people really don't have parents don't have time to teach them such things due to which they are unable to inculcate this thing in them that's all both of you really spoke very well on your chosen topics now with us we move on to the final round of your speaking skill assessment but i will give you a prompt at the second of just read the prompt sure which ma'am. is there Your classmate is an introvert who spends all his free time watching television serials. With your partner, discuss how will you convince him or her to watch selected programs that would be more suitable. Use the time for developing outdoor hobbies. Okay, spend a minute with your partner, and then we'll have it from you. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Have you heard about Shruti? Yes, she has scored really bad in her exams. I was so shocked to see Shruti's marks. but actually frankly speaking i know why she scored less she is every time indulged in daily soaps exactly that is the only thing which is pulling them back from studies and uh, which is making them away from their career what do you think about it i completely agree i think she has what i feel is she has changed a lot earlier she used to discuss with me accounts economics social psychology and all other subjects but now i feel she is just more discussing about all the sars bahu serials which are being displayed on the tvs that what happened that child killed and all such which is affecting her a lot but uh, but i feel isn't it our duty to guide her once yeah i remember i told her but she is not that involved in this but all we can do is just help her to ignore serials and uh, and she show her the right path she basically. should opt for discovery and nature for her benefits yes. rather than surplus and yes story. tv is something like which you always get involved in it because it's just a moving picture which you always like to watch it's just human mind which can make hell of heaven and heaven of hell so she need to decide it and we can just guide her oh yes thank you ma'am okay. that's all thank you dear you both of you spoke really well 
Thank you, ma'am. I hope you enjoyed the entire session. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Really. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am.